This is part three. And we read on in chapter two, verse three. And it was talking about those that had seen the first house, talking about the Lord's house, the temple that Solomon had built. And then he did so well with it. He furnished the place as the Lord gave them orders. And the biggest problem with this construction of the second house is that it didn't look like how the first house looked, the first temple. They weren't pleased of it, the people. But the Lord said to them, he said, be strong. When you mean you tell him the governor, Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and you're telling Joshua, the son of chest a deck and the people all the people is said of the land this time he told them to be strong and he said to them and work for I am with you the Lord is with us the Lord is with me in my ministry. He's been with me for several decades. And trust me, I had to be strong. Trust me, I know that some of you all had to be strong, male or female, that's doing what I'm doing. This is for a world, this is a worldwide ministry. We minister to people all over the world. So we have to be strong. The people of God has to be strong and follow the Lord's laws in those days. And we have to follow the Lord's ways in this way. Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now, we are considered Christians. In the book of Acts, two times it mentioned. And I believe in 1 Peter, it mentioned as well. Now, if we say that we are Christians, I don't want to digress from Haggai. It means that we are followers of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ would never call himself a Christian because we are the ones that follow him, not him following himself. And that's one of the men that when they, they began to minister unto him, he said, I was almost persuaded to be a Christian. That's what it means. It doesn't mean anything else. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If there's no other way to salvation, only unto Jesus. So let's continue in Haggai. Haggai, in the latter verse, it was verse 3 that we talked about. In verse 4. And the Lord in the fifth verse reminded them that he had a covenant with them. See, the Lord was not the covenant breaker, the one that gave the to Moses and all of them. He was not the covenant breaker. They were. That's why they were coming up short on everything. You can't come, you can't, you have to continue to follow the Lord in spite of whatever happens in your life, in your relationship with your spouse or your relationship with your family members or friends and business partners. You have to follow the Lord. You have to be stern and adamant in his way. Don't break anything because you'll find yourself in handcuffs in our country for sure and also in other um, 
countries when you break their laws. Moving on. And he said that my spirit, that was in verse 5, chapter 2 of Haggai, remains among you. And he said, fear not. You know, in Exodus, the 33rd chapter, read that. You see, the Lord was taking them out and the Lord was with them, even coming out of Egypt. Because Pharaoh was coming to murder them. Remember, people cannot cross or do what you do as a called and chosen, born again Christian. The world can't do, come through the path and be successful like you like us. They can't do it. It doesn't work out like that for them. Remember the Egyptian soldiers was coming. They were coming to kill every one of them. And the Lord intervened and closed the Red Sea with them in it. But his people were on the other side praising the Lord with the prophetess Marion, Moses' sister. We read on. So we're still in the book of Haggai. So verse 6, it says, when the prophet spoke again, Haggai, yet once it is a little while. I will shake the heaven, heavens in the earth, and I in the sea, in the dry land. I will shake, you stir up, cause to quake all the nations, and the desire of the nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, said the Lord of hosts. Now you have to remember that the Persian king gave them every provision they needed and materials to fill and complete that second temple. It was so much that the glory of the Lord was better than the former glory in that temple. The Bible tells us to walk by faith, not by sight. When you're doing good things and the Lord has called you to do it or told you to do it, you have to walk by faith and you have to be strong in his might. Mm -hmm. He told the book in the book of Joshua, this first chapter, verse one. Only be thou strong and very courageous. And some other party said, For the Lord thy God is with thee, whether soever thou goeth, whether soever you go. And it goes on. And he, the leader, Joshua, in the book of Joshua, was strong. He had situations that he had to deal with. And he dealt with it rightfully. Stay tuned for the next one.